हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ऋचा अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन टूडे आई एम शेयरिंग माई सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम मल्टीपल वेरिएट कैलकुलस वन द पार्ट आई विल कवर इन दिस वीडियो इज ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल आउट ऑफ एज अ पार्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल इंटीग्रेशन सो दीज आर बेसिकली द एप्लीकेशन कंबाइंडली ऑफ ट्रिपल एंड डबल इंटीग्रल this all covers uh, the area in field of uh, to find the area volume mass centroid moment of inertia to find the average value of a function distance velocity acceleration kinetic energy improper integral arc length and many more so there is a wider wider area which covers through triple integral and double integral double integral i introduced you in my first video of multiple integral now what exactly is triple integral we will deal in this video so basically if we have the three dimensional function uh, based on three variables three independent variables x y z let us suppose then we have to calculate the triple integral in order to extend the region in the given region v to find uh, the area covered by the function in given region bounded by the area, uh, region v capital v is a three dimensional function based uh, region so triple integration over the region v of function x y z with respect to x y z can be find in uh, some particular ways depending on the limits provided to us in the question you can see in the bracket in the box i have taken the limits from x1 to x2 y1 to y2 z1 to z2 which are particular assigned for x y z x y z the order of integration depending on the limits so basically uh, evaluation of triple integration based on the function provided to us the limit provided to us let us suppose we have the limits of x1 and x2 uh, depending on the other two variables x y and z limits of y1 and y2 depending on the rest uh, variable z single variable and z1 z2 assumed to be uh, having the constant limits then the priority will give to integrate the function first with respect to x then with respect to y which is a function of single variable z and the at last with respect to z which is having the constant limits so in this manner we will have to set the priority level uh, how we will give the priority with um, respect to which variable we will have to integrate the first and up to the last this is exactly like the double integral there we dealt with single variable and constant here we have three variables so we will have to deal first with respect to that variable which is having the two variable limit then with respect to that variable which is having the uh, single variable limit and at last which is having the constant limit so this is basically the important highlighted line i am again repeating limit involving two variables are to be kept innermost than the limit involving one variable and finally the constant limit variable so as per the priority if uh, we have x1 x2 y1 y2 z1 z2 which are the limits respectively of x y and z lower and upper limits if these all are constant then order of integration is immaterial there will be no any importance in which order we want to integrate we can but we'll have to take the assigned limits together with that variable uh, positively that we will have to be careful about like x1 x2 limits are assigned to x variable so if you are integrating with respect to first then you will find uh, apply that limit the first and if you are uh, integrating the function with respect to x last then you will apply that limit together with that when you will integrate with respect to x so now there is one example uh, in which we have three limits provided to us three uh, triple integration is there out of which we can easily see the very first integration in innermost integration is having um, the limits containing two variables and then 
on the second position there is a limit containing single variable limits and the, at last these are the constant limits and the function is three variable function which we are supposed to integrate with respect to all these three uh, x y z uh, variables over the limits provided to us so now the priority as i told you will have to set with respect to that variable which is having two variable limits and two variable limits we can easily see are depending on x and y so what is the left variable over there that is z so that is very much obvious if the function is depending on x y variable the function is of x and y like you can see uh, under root 1 minus x square minus y square which is the innermost limit you can uh, easily refer that and this will be the limit of z because z is invisible in this function so obviously this will be the mm, function for limit for z so now this is uh, now set in our mind that we will have to integrate with respect to z t first then second uh, integration is a single variable limit having the term x z already will have removed after first integration with respect to z so z will have no role no more role over there so this x will definitely be the function 1 minus x square under root will be definitely the in, uh, limit of the variable y leftover variable y and the constant limit thereafter will be depending for x so now we will first integrate with respect to z and we will have um, the function 1 upon under root 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square where z square will only be the variable and rest of all the terms will be considered as a constant. So dealing with the formula of 1 upon under root a square minus x square we are very much aware about is the uh, formula for sin inverse x upon a comparing with that formula we will give the result sine inverse z upon under root 1 minus x square minus y square over the limit 0 to under root 1 minus x square minus y square thereafter uh, putting these limits we will get sine inverse 1 minus sine inverse 0 putting upper limit minus lower limit and simplifying which we will get sin inverse 1 is equals to pi by 2 and sin inverse 0 is equals to 0 so pi by 2 will be the result and integrating with respect to uh, now the second variable which is y depending on the single variable limit 0 to 1 uh, under root 1 minus x square so uh, pi by 2 is a constant term integrating with respect to y this will result as y pi by 2 can be com taken common out of the whole integration then we will have pi by 2 y pi by 2 is out of the integration and y y will be replaced by upper and lower limit that is upper limit is one under root 1 minus x square minus 0 and uh, this will then be integrate with respect to the last variable x which is having the constant limits so now there is a formula for under root a square minus x square which is which is x um, x under root a square minus x square by 2 plus 1 upon 2 sine inverse x upon a so uh, sorry sine inverse x so yes sine inverse x upon a so from here using that formula we will get this term and uh, we will keep the limit 0 to 1 putting the limit 0 to 1 upper limit 1 and lower limit 0 we will finally get our answer that is pi square by 8 so this is all about the priority um, mind makeup to get the priority in which with respect to which uh, variable we will have to integrate the first and the last now there is the example in which we are having the constant limits for x, y and z. So integration of x plus y plus z which is a three variable function. This is not necessary it uh, must be three variable function. But basically we deal three variable function only with the triple integral. You will never face x, y, z uh, function, three variable function and double integral. So now 
here we are having the constant limits of x y z so there is uh, no boundation to set the priority just we'll have to careful about that 0 to 1 is the limit for x 1 to 2 is the limit for y and 2 to 3 as per the question are the limit for z that is to be noticed about rest of the thing is uh, not so important in which with respect to which variable we'll have to integrate the first that we can set as per our own choice so here we are integrating with respect to z the first then y then x so the limits of z will be the innermost 2 to 3 then of y 1 to 2 and then for x 0 to 1 so integrating with respect to z the first we will uh, treat rest of the vari uh, variables x and y as a constant so here it will be xz plus yz plus z square by 2 over the limit 2 to 3 putting these limits substituting in place of z only have to be careful about the limits will be substituted in place of z only not in place of x and y because these are like a constant so now uh, putting upper and lower limit we will have again an algebraic expression which will get simplified and we will have x plus y plus 5 by 2 integrating with respect now to y we will have x y plus y square by 2 plus 5 y by 2 over the limit 1 to 2 so now putting these upper and lower limit we will again have one more algebraic expression simplifying which we will get x plus 4 integrating x plus 4 now finally with respect to x over the limit 0 to 1 as per provided in the question we will have x square by 2 plus 4x over the limit 0 to 1 simplifying which we'll get the answer 9 by 2 so this is all from my side to introduce you about triple integration. I hope it will help you out. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.